we have some new research from an international team of physicists that have revealed that the Great Pyramid of Giza may be able to focus electromagnetic energy through its hidden chambers and under its base. They're saying that scientists at ITMO University in Russia and Germany's Lasser Zentrum Hanover have applied methods of theoretical physics to investigate the electromagnetic response of the ancient Egyptian pyramid to radio waves. Now, their calculations had predicted that in a resonant state, the pyramid could concentrate electromagnetic energy in its internal chambers as well as under its base, where the third unfinished chamber is located. And this is all per what they want to tell the world, coming from mainstream science. It's taken this long just to get this kind of solid information out there. Now, what you're looking at here in this top area here is the distributions of electric. And in the bottom here, it is the magnetic field magnitudes in the pyramid supporting the substrate that you can see here. You can see that with the electro, electric, it is keeping this massive area of energy centered right here. Now, even with the magnetic, we can see the same thing. In the same region, there is this big ball of energy. And they're saying that when they conduct these tests at different ranges, you can see the effects that they're getting. Once again, they're looking for the electromagnetic energy that is hiding within the pyramid or where it's concentrating. And you can see that there is a lot of energy, electromagnetic or electric, that is being harnessed and utilized right up in here from the pyramid. And this is just from the one that they had observed this phenomenon on. I'm sure that the others carry the same characteristics, just maybe in a different form and fashion, but I really feel like these things were meant for power generation. Not a tomb. This is also why you can find light bulbs inscribed inside of it, all throughout it. You're not finding any places where there were torches, where they were burning, like soot on the walls. You're not finding that because what you're finding are hieroglyphs light bulbs and, and things ran in there. It's no secret at this point. We found a lot of other amazing stuff like helicopters and airships and everything else on the walls that they try to keep hidden. That is really there. Shows me that there was a high technology here on this planet. It was being utilized by the people in Egypt. And this knowledge was passed down, shared with others. And as I always say, this is where it goes back to the whole megalithic structure thing. This is why you can find this stuff in Bolivia and Peru and it's all across the globe, showing that around the globe, through different eras, the same building techniques were seen globally, meaning that there was global travel, that people knew of what was happening around the globe in many different instances, not just secluded to huge continents like they want people to think, and, and then the rest of history is just lost. They don't know, right? Well... It's pretty obvious to me that there was an ancient high civilization here. It has everything to do with the pyramids. And new studies and research like this just go to show us proof that this thing was built by a highly advanced civilization that's staring you right in the face. They cannot reproduce it today. And that's just where it sits in terms of this as of right now. I'm going to leave a link so you guys can look into the rest of uh, the research here in this multipole analysis. In terms of the energy inside the pyramids, I will be reverting back to this, talking about this and bringing this video up in the future, referencing it because of what it talks about, all these energy points. So I'll leave a link below. Until next time, it's been Dabu7.